Today we're going to be reading some of the most unhinged Reddit stories that I have found in the past month. Uh, we did this before and it was a great time. Now we're doing it again, and I am joined by Mac Does It and Jackie. Yeah! yeah. Yes! <laughs> Mac, do you read Reddit stories at all, or? No, but I'm, I'm, I am I'm know how unhinged they are because mm -hmm. they go viral everywhere. So. Right, <laughs> right. I've, I've, yes. I've seen the crazy dip happen. Yeah, and Jackie, you and I have done this before yes. on yes. Twitch. I love uh, giving my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we have some insane ones today. Uh, we'll try to see if we find a common theme amongst all of them as we go, mm -hmm. but uh, Unhinged is what we're starting with, and this first story is not even the craziest one we're gonna read. Okay. okay. But buckle up, because we're, we're going zero to 60 pretty all fast. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, Mom, my juice box. <laughs> Six years ago, I switched my wife's cat with a more well-behaved look-alike. Oh. <laughs> I'm triggered. Uh, <laughs> so this is from uh, uh, the subreddit True Off My Chest. So this is a confession wow. that someone is okay. making. Six years ago, I swapped my then girlfriend, now wife's cat with a more well-behaved look-alike. She had an all black cat that was extremely aggressive. It scratched everyone, hissed at everyone, and didn't use its litter box half the time. My wife insisted she could get it to behave better. One week, she went out of town to visit her family and I was supposed to go to her apartment and feed it. The first night I went over, it scratched the shit out of my arm. I joked to the cat that it's not special and I'll replace it if it scratches again. The joke stuck with me until I had thought about it enough that it wasn't a joke. The next morning, I went to the local animal shelter. I found an identical cat who was already litter box trained and acclimated to people, but was a little skittish. Its old owner died of a heart attack and the animal shelter people said they think that's why it was skittish. But overall, it was a lot friendlier and better behaved and the skittishness would help it resemble the original cat. So I adopted it, took it to my wife's apartment, settled it in, then drove her original cat to an animal shelter a town over. <laughs> I was paranoid my wife would find out if I took it to a local one. It's been six years since then. We got married four years ago. We still have the swapped cat. It answers to the original cat's name. My wife knows nothing. She loves this cat and brags about how much better behaved it is. Every time I see it, I feel like a total piece of shit. Uh, there's an edit. For the people saying the other cat was likely euthanized by the shelter, I just double checked, and the shelter I chopped it off at uh, is still a no-kill shelter. I like these, like, uh, but I checked just now, and <laughs> it isn't, so I'm not bad. But he didn't check when he dropped it off. Jackie, how does that make you feel? I have a black cat. Oh, <laughs> oh so you're triggered, triggered. I'm so triggered right now. Because <laughs> this is a weak-ass man, because what? The, the he met the cat one night and the next day he dropped the cat off. All because he got yeah. scratched. Because he got scratched scratch. him once, one and he time, was like, "I'm taking you." A little you. boo boo. What a weak man. Yeah, no, he knew the cat a bunch, but then when he went over to babysit it one night, it scratched him, and then he joked like, "Hey, if you scratch me again, I'm gonna take you." And then he was just like, "You know what? I'm just gonna do that." That's still a weak ass man. The fact that he married her is, oh, oh, oh I want to be with her, but I can't be with the cat, so I'm gonna go drop the cat off, who might die. I'm gonna go kill this cat potentially because it scratched me one he time. He did not check at the time. Exactly. <laughs> Those shelters are, those are not a shelter. Okay? It's just <laughs> so sad. Like that cat, she'd had it for years. Yeah. Like to drop it. <laughs> I can't even admit, that's why I was cracking up in the beginning. It's, 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 a, it's a ridiculous story. <laughs> it's and insane. the fact that he like planned to like go to one outside of the town. Yeah. So like she would never find out. That's kind of. <laughs> I feel so awful that he brought the like new cat first. Like he brought in the new cat, he's like, this is your replacement, and then took the old cat. Yeah. That's so sad. Um, it's weird. We have a bunch of comments here. Uh, best of luck if y'all have kids. Finding a look-alike child is way harder. <laughs> <laughs> a weak man. Uh, under, if this is real, under no circumstances should you ever tell her, you will completely destroy her trust. Response, I mean, he doesn't really have her, tr he doesn't really deserve her trust already, does he? Um, true. Unless a shelter has unlimited funds and a vet on site, no animal control is a no-kill shelter. They work hard with local rescues to find homes or foster care for the more adoptable pets. The sickly, super old, injured beyond vet care, etc., are put to sleep before the adoptable pets. You remind me of the main character in You. 
Oh. Yeah, uh, that cat's probably dead. Like he checked. Don't say six, that. Don't. I can't say it. I'm did. really rooting for this cat. The cat got adopted by a, a, a better. The cat's probably dead. The cat's, the cat's probably, probably dead. dead. If the cat wasn't <laughs> nice, its chances of getting adopted are slimmer. Umbrella, but like, it's yeah. so sad. That's ah. Oh. Also, the black cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of prejudice against these black cats. So oh. if the cat was mean, if it was an angry black cat, and we don't even know the end gender. If it was an angry black cat woman, probably didn't get adopted, probably dead. The world's against them. <laughs> I'm talking about the cat, not about myself. She's having a moment. Let her have her moment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Support, uh, support black cats. Support black cats. Support black cats. All right, so this next one um, is Am I the asshole for making a real life Pokedex of girls at my university? <laughs> <laughs> All the crew members offset just went. <sighs> I think we already know the answer. Oh, yeah. To this. Okay. I'm open minded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, freshman year of college, I began working on this project casually. I like to keep notes on women I talk to about their favorite things, activities they enjoy, gifts, candy they like, sappy shit like that. I suck at remembering things like that, so I decided to keep a spreadsheet. <laughs> Eventually, after getting a handful of entries, I offhandedly mentioned it to my friend group. One had the idea that I share it with them so we could all keep new entries as they caught different entries. <laughs> So this expanded further. Right now about 40 guys have access to it and it's mainly the guys in my frat and the women featured are girls from different sororities. We also added more information, uh, information such as like where you should take them if you really want to impress them. We don't keep this information for any nefarious or scumbaggy reasons. <laughs> just to help us know what to do if we want to impress certain girls. Like the original idea of this was just to keep information like favorite colors so I didn't ever forget their favorite colors. Now it's helping a lot of guys. <laughs> Somehow a girl who was on the list found out and she was pissed <laughs> off. She was eventually able to trace it back to me so I assume someone who was simping for her snitched when the Pokedex wasn't making the girl like him. Simping. So she's pissed off and she made it out to be a guide to hooking up with women when it's most definitely not that. It's just to make impressing them on dates easier. That's it. She's made a big deal of this telling so many girls around campus and now they're all saying that by the start of the fall semester, none of them will be visiting our fraternity or going to our parties. Now all the guys are mad at me when I'm not even the one who told girls about the list and they were all using the list. I also think it's unfair to say the list was all about sex when it wasn't at all. Am I the asshole? Uh, there's an edit. Uh, I'm not a stalker. There was no information in it that could have been used to hurt someone, mm -hmm. only to have a better date. And it all isn't right. about sex. I never used it for just sex. Um, <laughs> Come on, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Come I'm a on. Nice guy. <laughs> I just have all your information on this list that I'm giving to a bunch of people. Come on. <laughs> No. I just wonder how this was working. Like these girls were showing up on dates and they're just like, oh yeah, my favorite color is blue. <laughs> <laughs> Strange, I just guessed that. Capricorn, yeah, I don't know. I'm just good at guessing these things. Like at a certain point, I feel like these women on, on this campus had to be like, all these guys know a lot about me. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel so uncomfortable. And also like, do they all have short term memory? Like what? Like the yeah. the info, it's a it's frat boys, right? I I yeah, it's frat. It's a fraternity. It's essentially one fraternity was like sharing this amongst themselves. Yeah. They had all this data about all the women on their campus. Isn't that how Facebook started? This is literally how Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, <laughs> yummy, no. yeah. yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> and he's a good guy. He's a good, he's a good guy, guy, right? Um, I'm a little surprised by this because like this takes so much work. Like it's it. I feel like it would be easier to just remember things than mm -hmm. to put all this effort into this. Also, how many people do you need to look up? Like, you know what I mean? Like, because yeah. it's clearly not working. Like, <laughs> right. something's not working if there's several women that you have to go. Like, why? It, you're not trying to have sex, but you also need a list of all the women that you are interacting with. 
but because you don't want to have sex, you just want to take all it's these women on dates. It's all. not for sex. So I need to know all, all these bitches and where they like and where they like to eat. Oh, Chelsea likes chilies. Like, but I don't want to have sex with her. No sex. No, no facts. sex. I just want to make sure Chelsea's gonna have a good time with any of my brothers. So we have some comments here. Great. It says, okay, let me see if I can explain this. <laughs> Imagine you're a girl. Imagine talking to a guy, maybe going on a date or two, whatever, and he seems nice. You two get along and seem compatible. Then you find out that all of those nice things he did was because he had access to a database of information about your likes and dislikes and other information. Not only yours, but a bunch of other women's info too. And not only that, but loads of guys have access to this info. Now, as a girl, you are hyper aware of the danger of stalking, etc. Quite probably you have female friends and or family with traumatic experiences regarding this. One of the few ways you have to keep yourself safe is to share information about yourself wisely. And suddenly you realize that tons of guys, guys you do not know and do not trust, have had all this information about you to try and win you over. That is fucking terrifying. For what I hope are obvious reasons, there are plenty of other things wrong with this. You've basically set out a goddamn menu of women for men to pick and choose from, describing it as a Pokedex. But <laughs> Hopefully this might give you somewhere to start. You're the asshole. Delete this database immediately. Your convenience does not trump women's safety. I yeah. forgot he called it a Pokedex. Yeah. That he made it even worse now. I know. Not about, it's not about sex. <laughs> he, he, he put those things in quotations of like, yeah, and they would catch this stuff. And it's like, no, this is weird, man. Like, I also like how he said that someone must have simped to this girl to confess that this, you're that right. He did That's this. such like, a tell wait. of what an asshole he yeah. is that he's just like, oh, like God, like he put the woman first. Like he thought, yeah. he thought about you. her feelings. Yeah. What are you doing, man? He it up for all of us. No, the, the now we can't take Chelsea to Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna know Diana's favorite color is pink? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want anyone to know my favorite restaurant though, cause like it's That's... probably super specific, right? And then it's like, I don't want everyone, all 40 men knowing that I'm at this specific location every Friday. <laughs> or like, I go to Chili's yeah. on Friday night every time. Well, my favorite Costco hot dog places. But you would start getting suspicious if your favorite restaurant was Chili's and every guy who was asking you out was asking you out to Chili's. And you're like, wow. Yeah. Every guy keeps asking me to my favorite Chili's restaurant. Just yeah. suddenly in nowadays, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Wow. Holy <laughs> Everyone's hip to it now. Uh, who's a bigger asshole? Cat guy, Pokedex guy. I think cat guy. I think cat guy's worse. Cat that's guy, yeah. more. Cat cat. Cat. That's really that that's a lot. Yeah. Um okay. <laughs> Let's see if this person's worse than these two guys. Am I the asshole for being mad my boyfriend won't make noodles the way I like? Okay. How mad? Let's see. He's getting beat up. <laughs> okay, this sounds dumb, but hear me out. I have always been a picky eater, especially when it comes to tomatoes. Ever since I was a kid, my dad would make my spaghetti different from the rest of the house. I like having an essence of the sauce flavor on the noodles, but not the overpowering flavor having noodles bathed in sauce creates. So here's where it gets a bit odd. My dad would separate my spaghetti from the families after putting the sauce on and then would rinse the sauce off with the sink and strainer. I love noodles like this as it is a nice subtle tomato vibe given to the mild spaghetti. She's 20 and her boyfriend is 26, so. Oh. My. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Look, it, it warrants a reaction. My boyfriend has known about this since we've started dating. Uh, he always told me my food habits were cute. We okay. have been dating for almost three years now and moved in together at the beginning. Wait, what? It says, my 20 boyfriend, 26, has known about this since we first started dating. He always told me about my food, hab my t my food habits were cute. We've been dating for almost three years now. Uh, <laughs> and moved in together at the beginning of the pandemic which this math is really weird, uh, so we could be in lockdown together. Ever since we moved in together, he insisted on taking charge of cooking and all cooking related tasks, dishes, grocery shopping, etc. And he assigned me the role of cleaning the bulk of the apartment. We split other tasks pretty much 50-50 too. Everything was perfect and he always seemed to be making noodles the way I liked them when we had them. This was until last week when we last had spaghetti. We ate and everything was good, but afterwards he started teasing me by saying things like, you really like your pasta with an essence of tomato, and how is your tomato essence, babe? Always using finger quotes around the word essence. 
After a few comments, I felt something was off and asked him if he had done anything differently uh, with tonight's noodles than he usually does, and he started laughing. When he finally stopped laughing, he told me the whole truth while smirking. He said, I didn't do anything different than I usually do. I have never been making it the way you have requested. Apparently, the entire time we've been living together, he's just been skipping the pasta sauce on my noodles entirely. He claimed that if I didn't notice for this long, then it shouldn't matter that he is making dinner in a way that is easier for him. I disagree entirely. I think the lying was a huge breach of trust, and so was the refusal to make dinner how I wanted. I have admittedly been acting passive-aggressively to him since, but he thinks he did nothing wrong, that I'm overreacting, and that I need to let it go. Am I the asshole? Um, There's an edit here. Uh, My boyfriend found the post and is not happy. I'm debating pouring the sauce directly down the drain to spite him. Edit two. So a lot has happened since this morning. Y'all may be happy to hear we broke up. We had a huge blow up fight since he found the post, which led to me breaking up with him. He did not like being called a predator. (laughs) and I started to think y'all had a point about that. So I ended up breaking up with him. He attempted to plead with me a bit. My parents pay our rent so he can't afford the place without me. But I wouldn't budge. Sorry. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, now some things I found out in the argument. First, he is not a pharmacist like he always told me. He just works at CVS. Second, he has actually cheated on me multiple times with other girls that go to my college. And lastly, and worst of all, he has never actually... Wait. And lastly, and worst of all, he has never actually been allergic to dogs and just doesn't like them. Oh, that's okay. That's the worst of all. Worst uh, of all? That's the worst of all, according to her. Let me, I need to go to the comments on this because the, the math. <laughs> the, the, the math, math is here. All. The math is, 20, yeah. The math 20 is minus mathing. three? 20 minus three. You don't need to do the comments for I, that, Shane. I, I know, but I'm loud. just saying like, like it's. Just say it right now. <laughs> 20 minus three, what jazz. is it, Shane? Well, yeah, be- sh- Welcome to Bepardy, 20 <laughs> minus three. <laughs> she was 17 and he was 23 when they first met. This whole post is awful. Very dynamic couple, you know? Yeah. yeah uh, Parents paying rent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Honestly, the first thing I thought was like, this girl ain't got real problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make my spaghetti with the essence of tomato. He didn't wash the, he didn't put the sauce on the noodles and wash, wash them off, off the way that I like. At yeah. first I thought it was gonna be just like one night that happened, but then yeah. you kept on talking. It just, it just <laughs> kept going. She could have easily been the asshole in this story, but every piece of information that we found out yeah. <laughs> made this guy worse. Brick by brick. Yeah. Uh, boy, it, and we built Rome. She sounds like a baby. <laughs> a literal <laughs> She baby. sounds like a baby, and that doesn't help his cause either. Uh, let's take out all the other context. If mm-hmm. this was a, we'll try. a normal couple, mm-hmm. just just two people of the same age, mm-hmm. uh, okay. who are not assholes, like, just, that, that, you know, they've got a good relationship. And they pay their own rent. she wants to make her pasta like this, mm-hmm. and he, Lied to her and didn't make the pasta the way and she wanted. Share equal How would you parts. feel about just just the pasta part of it all? It feels like a power trip. Yeah, like on her he, end. On his end. On his end. On his end, it yeah. feels like he's power tripping. But also too, if someone's not making me pasta the way I like it, then I make my own pasta. That's kind of my. If thought. I want pasta with the essence of tomato sauce, <laughs> I'm gonna put my own essence in my <laughs> pasta. I will yeah. rinse my own pasta. Yeah. Yeah. She also didn't realize. She like did like he'd apparently been doing that okay. for a while. So like she didn't even realize. So it's just the it's just the idea of how it's prepared that matters to her. It's not how it actually tastes, mm. right? Because she was she wasn't upset until he told her, no, I I didn't make it how he. Yeah, but why did he tell her? That's weirder. Is how the power mm-hmm. trip of it all. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying on her end, she also it's like a placebo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely weird that he did that. Mm-hmm. You know, like. I feel like you're on his how side. How would she here. not know? I'm not on his that side. That doesn't have an essence of tomato. What? How? How does it? I'm confused. She, <laughs> she essentially likes. She essentially likes tomato flavored pasta. Mm-hmm. She doesn't want tomato sauce. She so wants. She, the, not she wants the pasta to have like a little hint. I think it's rude. messed up because that was part of their like bargaining. How he True. made her clean, so he's going to prepare her food. Her phrasing on that was strange too. That he was like he. Assigned, assigned her for this and this and this and yeah, whatever. and so it's all weird. Reddit's verdict was that everyone sucks, <laughs> yeah. which I don't know. I still think he's worse than her. 
you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now she's hopefully never going to get into a relationship like this again. You get caught up in tomato essence and then yeah. suddenly you're dating a 26 year old yeah. who's not even putting the tomato essence in your pasta. Yeah, and not even working at CVS. <laughs> <laughs> and your parents are paying your rent. Yeah, uh, <laughs> for a pharmacist. A pharm what? So know. many, so many <laughs> twists and turns. So we have another food-related one. Great. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend her cultural food is gross and unhealthy? <sighs> so. Whoa, um, yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. I think we know. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm um, glad I'm, I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> I'll leave now. Done? All right. <laughs> so, my girlfriend is Pakistani. Uh, she's 28, and I am white, 31. Oh. Uh, I can't here relate. We, go. Uh, we have been together for three years but live separately. My lease just ended and my new place isn't ready yet, so I asked my girlfriend if I could move in with her. I told her I can't pay rent or for groceries since my new apartment's rent is higher than what I was paying at my old place, so I need to save. She was hesitant but agreed eventually since rent. I have nowhere else to go. <laughs> so he's moving apartments. He's, a, he's moving it like his new place. He's probably waiting a couple weeks. Okay. So he's open. moving, Just I just want to make sure yeah. I understand. He's moving in with her temporarily and will not be providing rent or groceries, groceries. because the home in which he's moving into that is not ready yet costs more than what? he can afford, so he yes. cannot provide anything to the household that he's about to stay in for a few weeks. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure. You, just, you got that all <laughs> exactly. Great. Okay. Um, I was a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> I work from home and she works a demanding job from the office. She is a social worker and has been experiencing burnout apparently. Uh, apparently. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what she does, but she's burned out. Um, How can you be burned out from talking? <laughs> I'm sorry. Help people. It's not that hard. She always tells me how exhausted she is, but won't find another job. Usually I can manage to cook with whatever ingredients she has. It annoys me that we can't eat the same thing, but I'm not a fan of her cultural foods since they smell and taste strong. <laughs> how are they together? It's just pasta with tomato essence. He's like, this is really powerful. Uh, Some pepper. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's salt. A lot of times she doesn't want to cook much after coming home from work, so she eats leftovers or random scraps. Can't deal with these. Uh. Men. <laughs> Stuff like rice with yogurt, tomatoes and cucumbers, or non bread with dips and frozen kebabs. When she does cook for herself, it'll be some rice with onions and spices and no meat unless she has frozen kebabs or frozen food her parents give her. Yesterday, she came home from work and burst into tears because a client physically attacked her. Mm. She said she's not going to work for a couple of days. I told her to just leave that job, but she gave me a glare and went away. She was a mess while cooking and ended up messing up her food. The rice was too mushy and had too much yellow stuff in it, and she had nothing else to eat it with except yogurt. So she just ate that. I felt like I had enough, so told her about her unhealthy food habits. Incredible okay. timing. Mm -hmm. uh, I told her she needed more protein and she barely eats meat. I also told her to get a grip on her life because how can she be okay with eating some mushy, gross food? She was furious and started crying. She asked me to get out of her house. I refused, so she began screaming like a mad woman and physically pushed me towards the door. She said I had 10 minutes to get all my stuff. She said she hated that I was so rude and inconsiderate to her yeah. while she was mentally struggling and suffering at her job. Mm -hmm. I reminded her that I always told her to leave her job, so it's not my fault she didn't listen to me. She said she had no idea I was such a jerk during the last three years, and I was also three? racist. Three. I told her it is not racist to point out the flaws and truths about someone's cultural food. She was even angrier and threatened to call the cops if I don't leave. I left and went to my mom's house, which I hate because my mom is annoying. <laughs> No. <laughs> He's 31. Uh, no! Girlfriend won't answer my calls and I hate that I am forced to live with my mom because of something so stupid. I don't think I did anything wrong by looking out for my girlfriend, so am I the asshole? I love the line, um... She's burned out, uh, apparently. I told her it is not racist to point out the flaws and truths about someone's cultural food. Like, this guy, man. This is a he, she white came home man. At, she came home after getting physically attacked 
and he still was like, you know, I have I'm, a problem too. I'm worried about your food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just completely was not worried about the fact that she got attacked that day. He said, oh, babe, you messed up your food. <laughs> you messed up, well, the, ah, he's not even cooking. I know, he's like, wait, he's just like, she's like, I just got, I just got into a massive fight today. It's like, well, I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. He's, I think <laughs> he's probably eating his, she probably made his dish first and then she was making hers and messed it up too. He's like, damn mom, you, damn mom, you really got, <laughs> <laughs> damn mom, you really got to eat more chicken. Like, also I want to point out, yogurt has a lot of protein in it. She's, she's fine. I just want to point that out. <laughs> that he's like, you're not getting enough protein. It's like, <laughs> Thank he you doesn't even, yeah. no, no, I'm yeah. just pointing out that he's also wrong about that. <laughs> that he's wrong in multiple ways. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I just want to also, just that a little tiny. That was a high priority little for little tiny sure. taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was shame. focused on. I'm like, hey, whoa, I noticed this. <laughs> <laughs> Some comments here. Uh, you're the asshole. Oh, God. How could you say that while living in her house rent free and saying it's her fault for not listening to you to quit her job? It's hard to find a job nowadays and maybe she wants to find another job but she can't just leave just because you told her to. Maybe there aren't social work positions that are available. You're such a doo-doo head, man. Why is he worried about the gross and mushy food with some yellow stuff when the poor girl is falling apart right in front of him? I hope she finds uh, better than him. Well, I. I don't think that'll be hard to find better than him. No, I think that's he's trash. Yeah. Has he beaten a uh, cat guy? He was pretty bad. Personally, yes. I think he beat cat yeah, guy. He does. I think he's bad in so many ways. Now, now we don't have a lot of context on cat guy. He yeah. he might be worse in other ways, but this guy was bad. He checked every box. Yeah, well he'd probably kill the cat because he's like, this cat eats unhealthy food. <laughs> I have to save this yeah. cat. This cat's not eating any vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we gotta kill it. Yeah, um, it's a better way of life. I don't understand. I helped her out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have our next story. Great. And uh, let's see what this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this comes from the subreddit Off My Chest. I am sad that my child isn't dark skinned. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, it's, you know, shame. it's about time, you know, <laughs> to have that anger. Yeah, please. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Throwaway account, I know I'm going to sound horrible, but I finally need to tell someone. I've been feeling like this for more than four years. I am a white man who is married to a black woman. I always knew I would marry a black woman because that's the only type of women I am attracted to. <laughs> uh, you know, we love a man with dedication. <laughs> with a vision. You know, we love a man with a vision, yeah. okay? Yeah. I know my life was gonna end up with a Nubian goddess. <laughs> I knew at the end, I knew, I knew I was gonna be a black woman. I've been manifesting this every day of my life. I met my beautiful, wonderful, intelligent wife. We <laughs> dated for five mm. years before getting married. I love my wife. Nine years together and I am still so in love. We have a four-year-old son. When she gave birth, he was white but aren't all babies, but the months passed. Yeah. I remember when I popped out of the womb. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> with this white skin, uh, it was a tie. I will say I came out a little light. <laughs> I was a little questionable when I came out, but my came in. <laughs> It came in. <laughs> okay. yeah, it just breaks it. It's like it's like a glow stick. You like crack it yeah. open and it's like yeah. boop. It was very confusing because I was pale, but with like my the hair I currently have, well like but like nappy ass, dark ass, black ass hair. So it was very confusing to everyone involved. <laughs> okay, but months passed and his color didn't change. Now he is four and he looks just like me with blue eyes, blonde hair, and his hair isn't even curly or afro. He looks like a little white boy. Uh, my wife often gets upset because people assume she is babysitting or that she is the stepmom. Yeah. I try to comfort her as much as I can. I pretend I am so happy he looks like me, but the truth is that I am gutted. When she was pregnant, I envisioned a black brown skinned kid. I was excited to share black culture with him. I <laughs> I am into things that can be classified stereotypically as black, and so is my wife. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Does he wear a chain and Air Max? <laughs> no, he's seen Everybody Hates Chris, and I was like, I get it. 
The other day, she bought him a black doll. I asked her what was the point since he looks white. She just said to me, he looks white, but he isn't, and I want him to be a part of my culture, his culture. I have never said anything to anyone or treated him as he wasn't my son. I love him. I wouldn't trade him uh, for any mixed toddler. But I still have But this... I would. But <laughs> I've thought about it at least. <laughs> and Cat Guy's like, listen. Uh... <laughs> but I still have this feeling that I wish when I took him to his appointments outside in the park, people would just see that he is not 100% white. My wife wants another baby, but I have been saying no because I am scared baby number two will also be white. <laughs> Edit. Uh, since some of you cannot understand what you are reading, this only describes my feelings, not my wife's feelings. She and her family have no problems with our son's skin hair color. Her labor was so awful that she is just happy she is doing fine and is there for her son. Yes, she gets upset at the stranger's comments. You'd be surprised how many strangers open their mouths like, did they give you the wrong kid? Take a DNA test. Check if there was a black kid born that day. Where's the mom? Ma'am, I need to see ID to check if this is really your son. Hey kiddo, do you know this woman? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Even my own family. Oh, he had the good genes. Uh, of course, she is going to be hurt. But she never on, expressed or I'm really, yeah, I'm finishing it. <laughs> of course, she is going to be hurt. But she never ever expressed or shown any resentments. I am only talking about myself. I have never discussed this issue with my wife because I'm afraid she would leave me or at least be super upset and mad at me. Oh, so these are comments that, this is him replying to people, giving more context. If I was guaranteed baby number two would be dark skinned, I'd go for it in a heartbeat. But I am not willing to take the risk of feeling like this times two. I know that dark skin, eyes, and afro hair are dominance. Come on, you know what people who are half white and half black generally look like. Otherwise, nobody would be able to tell ethnicities. No, I don't have a fetish. I don't consider my wife to be some object I use for sexual gratification. I am married to her and I respect her. I like what is considered to be black better. Mm -hmm. um, no, I don't hate my race. I am perfectly content with my looks. I like my blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin. I don't try to alter it. Uh, I didn't decide about my son's looks, neither did my wife. Uh, he just came out looking like me. Can nobody understand how it is that a 100% black woman gives birth to a white child with blonde hair and blue eyes? If the gender were reversed, if I was black and my wife white, and she, w and she gave birth to our son, I'd wonder if he is mine. Even if he was pale, but with dark eyes and dark hair, it would seem natural. Uh, <clears throat> I can't uh, say that online. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh God, I can't say what I oh. just the first. You know the first thought that comes to your mind. I'm like, I can't say that. Um, <laughs> I, I can't even... let the intrusive thoughts mm -mm, win. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I hope that four year old child doesn't read that when he grows up. Yeah. Oh, why is my baby a black baby? <laughs> this I... man has a fade. <laughs> like somehow, <laughs> like, this like it has a fade. He has a fade. We don't know that this isn't Chet Hanks. We don't know. Um, I was like, is this Drake? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this Drake? <laughs> Um, is this his sock account? I feel like this child is going to find out how his father feels eventually. Like yeah. this father's not gonna be able to keep this in. Like it's gonna be clear. Yeah. Um, he already hates his child. It's such an insane thing to like still latch onto. And I, he's not, it may, he makes it clear, he's not upset about it because what his wife has to go through. Like the, the com it's not the comments that are why he's upset about it. Yeah. Really. He brings that up as like, that's also a thing that mm -hmm. happens. He's upset because he wanted this. He wanted, he wanted a black child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wanted to produce something black, black and be man. like, I am one of you. Yeah. <laughs> Raise he, up like the Lion King. Yeah. Um, that is, yeah, yeah. That's definitely. It's so, it is, it's that's weird. Actually, that's he wanted exactly. a permanent card mm -hmm. to the cookout. Yes. That's exactly what he hey, wanted. Hey, I gotta bring my kid to the barber. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Hey, no, I gotta. I you gotta get him in the chair up. too. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, Whoa. line him up, y'all. What are we talking about? What's up? Yeah, did you catch the game? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to cut my hair too, like it's fine. The way he he's like fetishizing his child though, in a way it's too. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Where it's like you're 
oh, I wish you had, you, I wish you had dark skin. I yeah, don't know. <laughs> that's just, people, yeah. I mean, people, people objectify their kids. All the, like, there's tons of parents that do that. I've just in this way is so yeah. weird. Like it's a lot, and those comments from his family. Oh, well, that's mm. par. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's just like damn. There's some comments here from other people. A uh, lot to unpack in therapy. Um, yeah, I'm still stuck on you as a white man want to teach him black culture, but on the same hand, ask your wife why she was buying a black doll for him since yeah. he was white passing. Yeah, you definitely have a fetish, and you need to do something about it. Your children are your children. White passing or kissed by the sun, get a grip and hold on. That's such a weird thing to be like, no, don't buy that. Yeah. Like this It doesn't just... look like him. That's he's a... not yes. he's not black. He is not black. He's not you. black. He, his skin doesn't How show it. How you bring me this black baby in front of my white baby? <laughs> 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 what strange criteria for like buy, buying something like it has to look like you. You can't buy something that doesn't look like you. It's funny because like the reverse of this is like I'm oh. looking at my little dolls from the before Tiana came. I only Tiana played with up. the black GI Joes. I don't know about you. No, I had Sasha. <laughs> 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 That's all I got. Um, where does this guy rank for you guys? Mm, it's like it's kind of like a, he's trying to love, but he doesn't know that his love is misplaced. It's corrupt. Yeah. Yeah. And weird. <laughs> this and guy, weird. I I would go so far as to say this is the weirdest guy. Because the other guys, there's some awful, like, assholes, like, with zero empathy in their bones. All right, here's our last story. Am I the asshole for calling my girlfriend a misandrist uh, slash man-hater? I am a 27-year-old man. I have been with my girlfriend, uh, who's 24, for a few years now. Okay. Once again, what? we need some math here. Um, I've noticed some concerning behavior of hers, such as... She hates being hit on or flirted with. She immediately declines with a very monotone voice. I noticed this mostly before we started dating as we didn't have the same friend group but had mutual friends. She avoids men in any scenario. I invited her on a cabin trip with my family. However, it ended up being only the men that would be going as other wives, girlfriends, daughters could not get time away from their duties. She was excited before, but as soon as I mentioned it would be only guys, she immediately changed her, her mind and called the airline to refund her ticket. Uh, if all of my friends come over for a boys' night, she doesn't offer to make snacks for us or anything and just leaves before they get here and won't come home until they're gone. She isn't really rude about it, I guess, but in three plus years of dating, she has <laughs> never... No snacks! No snacks! No snacks! No snacks for the boys! Snacks. No snacks for the boys. <laughs> I love it. it's like she didn't make us snacks and we we cannot make them. <laughs> Guys, she didn't they make don't know how she didn't works. make the bagel bites. What are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> They've never worked a microwave in their life. Uh, she isn't really rude about it, I guess, but in 3 plus years of dating, she has never spent more than 3 uh, spent more than 5 to 10 minutes around them and never tries to have a conversation besides basic politeness and acknowledging their presence. When I asked, she just looked at me and said, do you want me to be super friendly with your friends, half of who have asked me out before? Which made me think more, but I feel this is still weird. Um, uh, uh, she requests women uh, for everything and goes out of her way to use, to use female doctors, female plumbers, female mechanics. If it's through renter's insurance, for example, she doesn't make a special request, but if it's an elective service, she immediately tries to find a female service provider. I don't think she's physically attracted to men. Our sex life is fine and she is very affectionate with me. If I ask her if a celebrity is hot or whatever, she just says she doesn't see them like that or that in her brain all other men are Ken dolls with no sexual organs. She refuses to have male friends and if she has a male acquaintance, she blocks, ignores them if they ever make a romantic move on her. From what I know, typically uh, women keep guys like that around, so why she doesn't is beyond me. For example, she had a close male friend for a very long time. However, a few months into us being together, he made a romantic move towards her. For some reason, she was offended and even hurt and was depressed for a while as he was her only friend left from her childhood. We had a pregnancy scare last month and she didn't really update or inform me on things. If I hadn't walked in on her crying and holding it, uh, I don't think she would have ever told me. It ended up being false. I called her a misandrist while asking for an explanation for her behavior and she called me an asshole. I explained why I had my beliefs and she just kicked me out of her office and said she doesn't have time for this. 
Am I the asshole? Uh, there's an edit here. Regarding previous male trauma she could have, I asked her about it and she did mention an event that happened to her in college. A female friend asked her to pick them up from a party as they were drunk, but when girlfriend got there, a group of guys locked her in a bedroom with them. Nothing happened and she kicked out a window to leave. Uh, but she said she was much meaner to men before that. That incident calmed her down and made her realize being that direct can be dangerous. Those guys had all been guys she may have rejected harshly, but she said she didn't recognize their faces. This guy, <laughs> boy, um, this, he's, he's, let's unpack this. Yeah. I think I'm surprised, uh, his behavior is a little confusing to me because this is a toxic guy, but I'm surprised that his toxicity isn't leading to like jealousy and stuff. Like, like so many men are like, Pulling what? romantic moves on her, and he's mad that she's like she's not flirting back. She doesn't like, like it. it's just yeah. like, yeah. I'm like wait, I'm confused here, man. What do you want? It's like he wants he wants to be with. I I think he like look. I don't know this man, Chester. I don't know Chester. Chester. I think he wants to be with someone. He likes the idea of like her getting hit on, right? And he he I think he wants to have more of that and he's she he's upset that she's not playing into this fantasy because there are i have met i don't know maybe they're out there guys that like when their uh partners are being hit on that's like a thing mm -hmm. you know it's like flattering to them so he sounds he sounds like the opposite of insecure he sounds very secure and he wants i don't know there's it, i don't know yeah interesting <laughs> That that I, that I that's like the only explanation I can think of. Yeah, it's weird because it's very weird that he's like upset about it. That yeah. like she had a close friend who then like was like, oh, I'm romantically interested in you, and then like he's upset that she didn't remain friends with him and that like, she didn't like that. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> what do you want? Why aren't you flattered? He wants to f you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't Say get it. Thank babe. you. You don't want to hang out with all my friends that have told you they want to f you. And you didn't make them snacks? Yeah, <laughs> I'm snack. sorry. <laughs> okay, you gotta kick out a window to get out of a room full of men. What's Whoa. your deal? <laughs> <laughs> you don't wanna go to a cabin in the woods with a bunch of men? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't understand you, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, these I'm not finding the connection here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you only wanna see a female OBGYN, you only wanna see a female mechanic, you I don't get it. What you only wanna see a female plumber? You mean you only want a woman to come to your house and fix your pipes? You don't, like, you don't want a man to come to your house? You don't want a man to walk your building like that? What? Oh God. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Is it really cause like is it really this common for men to ex like like in in 2022 like yeah d for men to expect women to cook for them like that they're incapable of making anything for themselves? Y'all, this sounds like weaponizing competition. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> what is? I've never heard that before. That no, okay, never but like of. you, you heard of it, right? It's like yeah. when men are asked to do something, like I don't know, like clean the bathroom, but then like they do it bad on purpose, so that then someone else has to do it for them, and they, it's kind of like, oh, like yeah, you're my girlfriend, but like you're basically my mom. Like you know, mm. you heard about that, right? It's kind of like this. <laughs> I, I've, I know it's. I've, I've never heard the term put onto it. But I've definitely like it's it's obviously such a known like trope and like obviously yeah. reality of like so many men cannot like cannot but also will not cook for themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, will not go like get groceries. Will not like do a lot of stuff. And then they put that burden on their girlfriend. Yeah. And it feels like it feels like it's so. What you're saying, it's a way of like control. It's it's that energy of like you. Um, you should be taking care of your children. We shouldn't be congratulating dads for taking care of their children. Right. You know what I mean? Like I think there's right. like often a trend of that. Well, and it's it's like a you know I've I've certainly heard like it's just like oh like oh wow he cooks like that's crazy where it's like you know yeah. it's like that's mm -hmm. that's just a normal thing. I know, like, and I, I mean that's I feel like that's ingrained in me when whenever I see a guy online that's like I'm a chef, I say he's a what? <laughs> right. He's a chef. <laughs> 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 I'm being honest. I'm trying to break it. <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong, but like I feel like a, a lot of the times a lot of men are like 
babied by their moms, right? Or like their moms want true. to like I think overly true. mother them and take care For of them. Sure. Um, and I think sometimes that does like, it, it, I've dated guys who are unable to do basic tasks because yeah either they've they've never had to do it themselves like the fact that like some men can't do laundry or they don't know how to change their sheets nor buy sheets or mm -hmm. have a second set of sheets to right. back back in my college <laughs> days my roommates did not know how to clean the toilet yeah and i was like what yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> how have you survived like, this i've seen you do it shane do what I've, you're like i can't do it Wow, Shane. Let's unpack your behavior. You're going to throw that out right here. We're at the end of the video and you're just going <laughs> to... Part two. If you want to hear about some other Reddit stories, if you want Reddit stories number three, we can talk about Shane's weaponizing competence in this space. Let us know. We have all these videos all the time. Thank you for stopping by to Smosh, but we have two videos right down here. Thank you so much for listening, y'all. We got more stories coming your way. Like and subscribe, baby. Have a great day. Thank you for doing the outro. I couldn't have done it. <laughs>